a world record. Welcome to Craven Cottage for this Division 1 game. And as you can see on your TV screens, Jonathan Macken is back in the side for tonight's game. A very important game after the draw against Huddersfield on Saturday. Preston needs to at least get a draw out of this game. It won't be easy against the Fulham side. They've only drawn one game and that was a away to the Wolves on Saturday. The game goes on the way and it's Preston on who kick off. And a long ball cut out by Chris Coleman. Well, it's foot up there by Eric Meyer. But it's good news that Jonathan Mackin's back in the side to boost the uh, front to Preston front line this evening. And they'll need it tonight. Rankin again looking for Mackin. Holding it back. Edwards has come, come inside to Paul McKenna. Hamilton, who to Rankin, he's got a chance early on, he's just a goalkeeper! Oh, and that wasn't far away. Well, that's very, very close there from Preston. Hamilton playing the little ball inside. Rankin turns, ball bounces up nicely, he tries to flick it over the goalkeeper. Coleman looking for Fernandez, makes a good run. Carlyle holding him up, he's going past him. He's pulled it back, oh, he's at the side netting. Well, that was a good run from Fernandez. Finds Rankin. There's only Meyer making a good run again inside. He's held it. Oh, and he's knocked into the middle. I think he was trying to find Appleton, but Appleton came short. And there's nobody else there he can go for. Sahar sliding in. Run the ball well. Brevitt making a run on the outside. He's leaving him all alone. Well, it's stood off him again, Preston. Sahar coming off his marker. Finds his way to Lee Clark to Finnan. Oh, close down by McKenna, but he wins it in Clark, which the ball into the far post to Hales. He chests it down. He has a shot. Oh, that was not far away. Along and raising the voices. Preston have done well in the first half, in the opening minutes of his second half, by keeping uh, the Fulham fans at bay. They're not getting the wrong way for them here tonight. Gregan comes away with the ball. Macken makes a run out to the left. Lanky goes through the middle. Oh, it's just pulled behind him. It comes to Meyer. He's going to have a crack. And the show oh, that wasn't far away. Well, Rankin made the move, took a defender away, left the space for Meyer, has a crack with his left foot, and just goes inches over the bar. That's a bit more lively now from Preston. Edwards looking for Meyer to make the run. Comes off his defender. Appleton again. Good turn. I'll go with it. Meyer gives him help, McKenna's on the inside. Alexander's looking good on this side. Cartwright just outside on the right to him. He's going to look to cut in Alexander. That's a good turn round Collins. That's a great ball in ranking. Well, that was a good move from Alexander taking on Collins, turning one way and then the other. Gets the cross in. Ranking just a little bit behind him. He was unable to get his head wrapped round it. Oh, goes to Hales. Oh, lucky there, Preston. Close them down so quickly. Now to, to four on five. Oh, that's a poor ball. Will it flew through to Mackin? He's got it. It's going to be clear for him. Oh, no. That's a great tackle back by number 23, Davis. Who's alert to it. The full of defence seems to stop still. Mackin got away. But Davis closed him down very, very quickly and gets the tackle in. Oh, that's good play for Fernandez. Rankin's gone down and he's staying down at the moment. Just getting to his feet generally, gingerly. And uh, Alexander misses it and Brevitz in with a chance to cross this ball. Pulls it back to Fernandez. 
He takes on to his left, onto his right, tries to curl it. Oh, and that wasn't far away. And it's caught right in by foot in there with Gregan. Gregan up with Sahara and wins it, but he falls nicely for Glee Clark. Murdo closes him down. What's the referee? The referee says play on. Meyer trying to hold this one up. Oh, that's nicely done. Gets Rankin away. And Rankin's on his got a chance here. He gets on his left foot as a shot. Oh, that was well closed out by Davis again. He's trapped the runner again. Corner whips in. It's gone in. It's a goal from Preston. Well, I think that's just gone straight into the back of the net. It has. And I think it's... I think it's Michael Appleton who's going to claim that. And the ball was went in. I couldn't see what, where the ball went. He just went in there. Boys, it looks as though everybody just stopped still. Collins looking for Paul. The Sahara has made a great run. He's coming on his left foot. This is a chance. Oh, he's knocked it over the bar. Well, that was a superb ball from Collins. But Brevin was quick in there. Oh, Hales is pushing on Murdoch. Goes to Sahar to Clark. This is a chance. Oh, and it's over the bar. That wasn't far away. But the referee's given a corner. Brevin with the ball. Finds Davis. Collins looking for the ball inside. It's poor, but he gets it though. Trying to come in on his right foot. Oh, that was good tackle by Meyer in the instance. Davis goes down, and there was a shot from Hales. To get on his left foot. Today's attendance is 14,354. Brevitt, Roy, giving a little bit of elbow. The referee steps in between him and Alexander. Regan's going to win this header. Gets it away. Well won by Melville. Regan's going to get it. Let's just launch it. And that's the final whistle of Preston of 1-1-0. Well, that's a great win for Preston North End here at Craven Cottage. And it was a goal for Michael Appleton. But he went in the, the corner. David Moyes, superb performance. Yeah, it was a great all-round team performance and uh, we're delighted. We had a lot of pressure against us, but uh, the boys played well when they got an opportunity to and uh, all round I thought we we came away with three really hard work points. Especially after Saturday, you know, poor performance. Uh, to be honest, I think we'd have took a, a draw from tonight, it would have been an excellent result, uh, as no one's had one before, but to get three points is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, like, again, from the dugout, you never see too much, but from the dugout, I thought the ball had gone straight in, it maybe have taken a slight deflection, but... Uh, I'm sure Michael Appleton will claim it and I'm happy for him to take the goal. John, did you try to claim it? <laughs> no, if it would have been an inch further on I would have claimed it, yes, a left foot. No, it's, it just went straight in, I think, it didn't touch anybody, so I think Appy's claiming it. You know, I think uh, I think a few of the lads said a defender touched it, but no, I don't think he'll have that one. Who cares, eh? Who cares, exactly. Yeah, I think there was about four or five running away trying to grab it, but uh, I think the announcer gave it to Michael, but I'll speak to the lads later on and find out what happened.